Okay, so this video is going to show you how to create your alignment land XML files. Okay, so um, if you have Geopack, this is what's going to go over because um, that's what uh, ODOT uses. Um, so um, other software, CAD softwares, uh, probably have a similar uh, process, um, but since we don't have those, uh, you know, I can't really demo that. Uh, so what I'm going to do is open up Kogo. So, um, assuming you already have your alignments, what you can do inside Kogo is go File, Export, and then Land XML. And then here's where you're going to um, specify, you know, what you want in your Land XML. Um, so again, we want just one chain. Um, so you would select, you know, the chain that you want. So for I'll just choose one here at random. And then you want to check on export profiles and then go select the profiles that go with that chain. Um, so I'll just select this one. You can uh, hit control and select multiple ones. Um, so you could do your existing and proposed um, and you can get both of those. Um, now the important thing is to, to make sure you give us the proposed profile in XML. The existing one is not as important as the contractor says that it just um, chunks up the file, takes a lot longer to load, and, and they aren't going to use that in their AMGs anyways. Um, so uh, you don't have to put the existing profiles, but you do have to put the propose. Okay, so remember one chain or horizontal alignment per file. Okay, and last video I said that I would show you how you can, when you run the project indexer, it actually will grab uh, that alignment name so if for the project name you put you know the I guess the, the user friendly name like what it is like so say say right 185 you put it there and then you can put um, you know description here and these two um, lines right here is what gets populated in your index file so alignment name that gets listed is what you list here, and then, then the description is what you would list here. Um, so if you fill it out here, you don't have to worry about doing it later. Um, propose 185. All right, and then you would choose the location to save it. I'll just do demo and export, and you have your Atlanta XML file. So you'd have to repeat that process um, for all of your all of your horizontal alignments um, and then you want to generate a report uh, so uh, the one way to do that would be using Kogo um, you could just open up your um, chain stuff and you could just describe it and then you can save this uh, as a text file and then you'd want to do the same for your profiles um, oh, not parcels. So, where was that at? Play that, describe that. So, um, you'd want to do that, you know, everything inside your land XML file. So, I had the chain and the profile, so I'd want to do that. And then I would, you know, save this as a text file. So, you can save it by going here, save contact as, um, Go to my desktop, just throw something in there, and there it is. And then you can clear it and describe your next one and save it and repeat the process. Um, so that's how you can create it. Uh, if you're using the Open Roads tools, uh, you can uh, just you know export it by right clicking on your alignment and uh, saying export uh, to land XML. All right, in the next video I'm going to uh, return back to the application and we'll go over surfaces, land XMLs.